Roses are red, violets are blue. For the first time in three years, the King of Violets is back at Annihilation! I'm gonna give you a recap on the last time I was here. See, the greatest Annihilation team ever formed in the Rocco family helped me achieve one of the greatest moments in my career, helping me win the Annihilation Championship. But every good moment has its bad moment. I know you remember this moment, Carnage, when Kevin Chaos kicks you straight in the face and you went to the dark side. You see, Carnage, it don't matter how many body bags, cemetery gates, dog club matches you've been in, you've never been in the most violent match and trick or treat with the most violent person on this roster and me. You see, Carnage, when people hear about violence, they get turned off. When I hear violence, I get a little turned on. Oh, wow. Hi, Rocco. Hey, Flex. I brought your box. You brought me a box for you. bring a box for Well, I don't know. I figured you might need some boxes. Trick or treat match. I think I got all 13 boxes. You got 13 boxes up there? Yeah. 13 boxes? Ooh. That means you could have 22 tits. 22 tits. What could you do with 22 tits? Dude, I could do a lot of them. What can't you do with I 22 tits? I know. We want to have my box. It's a present. You want me to open the box? Please do. What the? It's my dick in a box. Oh, oh my. Not really my dick. It's my biceratops. What? Bicer you no, know, no, no, no. I know this is live TV, but can I finish my promo? Sure. See, I live, I breathe, I die for violence! Carnage, welcome to your goddamn funeral! Buddy. I thought it was a good joke. Pick in a box. Hey, are you guys done yet or what, man? I've been waiting in line for 10 minutes to do my promo here. I'd whistle at you, but I don't know how. What the hell is that crap? Power Rangers? What? Dude, come on, you sold out? Ghostbusters, man. I thought we were down. I thought we were down, dude. I thought you were a Harvard chick. I know what steps on a church in my town. All right, you know what? What we just saw was the number one contender shits for the team championship. I gotta say, little Lily was taken out of here. All right, when you have that much weight plus that much weight on one knee, bad things are bound to happen. But I digress and I move on because Rocco has some pretty harsh things for Carnage. And I don't know about you, but I'm very much looking forward to Trick or Treat 11. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it to Mr. Labrie. No, no, it's, it's time for trick or treat. That's what I'm getting. You're all dressed up for a chance. I'm always dressed up. I love your costume. Now let me guess, uh, Creature from the last, last Black Lagoon or uh, The Mummy? 40 <laughs> year old virgin? Contest, trick or treat. Oh, that's what your costume Number 12. A fall count anywhere match with 13 boxes. Andy found inside the box is legal for use as a weapon. Adrian First, Hell, Michigan. The Raging Demon. Carnage! Now you talk about who is primed and ready for Halloween, it would be the Raging Demon, Carnage! I don't well, think he likes candy though. Well the fact is, Carnage has walked through the cemetery gates and walked out champion. Dog collar, body bag, every match humanly possible, Carnage has been in, except one. And that is trick or treat. That is Rocco's domain. Rocco has been in all previous ten. You did me, Rocco! Entering second, his opponent, Hilly from Salem, Massachusetts, the king of violence, Rocco! Oh boy. Here we go. Kick, kick, kick. That's the sound and of you're right, this is Rocco's stomping ground. This is the man who made. And there we go! Cut the music, this match is on! Let me tell you a little bit about Trick or Treat. Everything in these 13 boxes are legal. You use something else outside the box, you're disqualified. Besides that, kill each other. It doesn't really matter. Well, that's these two men have been primed for the last three, four weeks to do just that. Well, let me correct you right there. You're right. Three or four weeks they've been back and forth, but their whole career is back and forth. A cult of the dead, asylum of the dead, asylum versus the cult, Rocco versus Carnage, Carnage versus Rocco. I mean, it's been going on forever. And it may end here tonight. Trick or treat matches. I mean, come on. How many has put Rocco put away with this match? How uh, many? He's put away a few, but he's also lost a few. That don't matter to Rocco, as long as... Oh, wait a minute. That's a strap. Fox One has a strap. I'm gonna beat you like you're my stepson. Oh, Rocco with a strap. Hitting himself and then hitting Carnage in the back. He just steps on a wall and stole your wallet. It's funny. Bring it to the fans. Bring it to the fans, Rocco. Oh, 
the king of violence, Mr. Robert Y. Lacker, is bringing it to the fans. Oh, right to the back, and carnage down and over the guard rail. A barrier, a foolproof barrier. Uh, the problem there is there's no mats out there. There's no padding. There's hardwood floor. That is, there's nothing that protects you. And well, the Rocco fact is, he's capitalizing. We have no idea what's going on. We can't see. We're, all we hear is strap slaps, and we see Rocco walk back to us. So we're going to assume Carnage got the hell beat out of him. Say that three times fast. Not so funny when it's you, me saying it to you, is it? Strap slaps and screams of pain. <laughs> My excuse is I had a stroke. Your excuse is you're drunk. I have to sit next to you. Of course I am. Carnage now. Wait a minute. Where is he? I don't know. Rocco up over. No oh, jumping. I Rocco flip is my guess, and there go. I, like I said, I don't know what's going on. I just hear someone crying, someone getting slapped. This might be a smut film going on for all we know, Mr. Bishop. Snuff film, film more like it. No, I like smut. I know smut. Like smut, but I know Rocco likes snuff. He likes both. Does he? He does. He's, he's quite kinky. And I don't want to know how you know that. However, here they come. We've been to a few viewing out. parties. Here we go. And oh wait, Carnage has the strap. Oh no. That's not a good place for that strap to be. Well, again, this is Rocco here. Like I said, he loves pain. Oh. He gets him going. He's gonna just take those hits and he'll come right back. Well, that's one box open. The leather strap was in box number one. Might not be actual number one. We're just calling it that. Last time we. Oh wait a minute. Oh no. Oh. oh. Rocco is not very pleased getting chopped. Oh! You know, Rocco's been hit by a car and all that jazz, but he doesn't like being chopped. Yeah, well, getting hit by Carnage, you may as well be. And wait, oh, wait a minute. Singapore Canes. Carnage's signature weapon right there. This is vintage Carnage all the way in hardcore matches. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. Oh, there we go. This is what I mean. Rocco, he gets off on it. He is biding his time. He's waiting for Carnage to wear himself out. And oh! He likes it a little too much, baby, but uh, taking a little wood off when Carnage... Uh, no, this one's going downtown. Oh! Rocco getting smacked in the cranium, the dome, the cranium maximus, whatever you want to call it. That uh, must have hurt. The head, that, that, that works too. And we got another box. Box number two was open. Now we're on to number three. Carnage is looking for something destructive. What is it? That is a strap with barbed wire in box number three. And Red Guy even looks a little disturbed by this. And he's been in through so much more. You are not disturbed by this. Oh! oh <laughs> if you are not disturbed by this, there is something wrong with you. Then there's something wrong with me because I'm enjoying every whip and lash this is delivering. Yeah, Call me Kuta Kente, but that's oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that was a rude comment. Uh, I got nothing here. This is Rocco getting beat to hell. With the leather strapped with barbed wire. That's awesome. But WA Dub. Oh no, here we go. One more time. Oh, you know, you know there's something wrong with what's going on in the ring when Red Guy has a look of concern on his face. Oh, no. oh, oh is that in the eye, the nostril, or is this a fish hook? Well, if he is, that's kind of fucking hilarious. Excuse me for my language. I don't usually let it slip. I'm excited. There's no excuse for you, Chaz. However, Rocco looks like he's out. He's right he's now. The crowd worked up. What is next? What will be in the next box? Well, I don't know. We got me oh, you got medium-sized boxes. You got decent-sized boxes. You got a huge box. I'm gonna. You know what? For all we know, Gino Diamine is gonna be in box number ten. That would be something. Something terrifying. Not for me. I'm at the table, luckily. He's looking for special here. What's next? We got metal. We got sheet pans and cookie sheets and a, oh, W-A-W, no parking. That, that hurts, baby. I don't think this is going to pan 
No, Rocco. Oh, it doesn't pan out for Carnage getting kicked in the face. But Rocco dropping down. He got some pizza. Rocco is bleeding. You were correct on that. And he doesn't care. He's going to damage Carnage. He's going to dish Did you, Hold on, hold on. He just oh, no. gave Carnage a pizza sheet. And he's asking him to hit him. Oh, what a shot by Carnage to walk. Wait a minute. Oh, a return favor. Oh. Oh, Carnage, it looks like, is bleeding a little bit. Oh, it turns. This is beautiful. This is what two men, they don't understand words. They don't understand language. What they understand is weapons. And wait a minute. Oh, kick to the chin. And now Rocco has it. Pumpkin Crusher with the pizza pie. Now what's funny is Rocco, I think, is doing more damage to himself than Carnage is to him. Like I said, that's not the point. This is getting him going. Carnage, if you will notice, has been beating on him, but that's starting to wear him out. Now Rocco, who is a sadist, a masochist, going in there. What has he got? What did he get? No, I don't think he got anything. He's looking for something. A cheat. Oh. Well, Carnage didn't just have a pizza pan. You might as well if you make a bad pun, I'm going to hit you. You're gonna try this one more time. Are you saying my jokes are grating on you? Uh, there we go. DTH on the pizza. You know what? I gotta bring something up. Every time Rocco gets a cheese grater, it never works out for him. No, and it's not working out. Now. Oh! oh really? That's all we can say to that is, oh, we're great commentators. God damn. Rocco just got his head. That wasn't a joke. That's the truth. What can you say when someone gets cheese grated? And that's the chain Rocco got beat with last week. I think Rocco's about to suffer some ch a chain of consequences here. Rocco, Rocco. I'll bring Rocco. up the point. Oh, I'll bring up a point right now. Rocco's not trying to win this match. He's trying to kill Carnage. The whole point of this match is not the win, the W, or the L. The whole point of this match is making an impact. The more damage Rocco takes and keeps getting up, that right there is an impact. The more damage... That's an impact right there. It's not about the W or the L, Mr. Bishop. Though it would look good on the resume. And Rocco is hitting himself. Rocco is not right. No, no, he's not. But then again, what kind of? You don't have to be right to be in a match like this. You got to be a little bit sadistic. All right, Carnage wants to. Carnage wants to make an impact with that shotgun-like sound right there. Shut the hell up! I am thinking. I am remembering the three match between Rocco and Sin. How bound of two years ago? Well, last year. Oh, wait a minute. Carnage trying to go for a powerbomb. Rocco does not want to get up. Smart move. First time he's out on the stairs. Oh. Back. And hold on. Rocco trying to wreck his order a little bit. Get some distance. Get some time. Fortunately, Carnage, here we go, working on him. And Rocco, wait a minute. Oh, no. Rocco is bad place. Rocco, bad place. Punching Carnage. Oh, uppercut! Oh! Stretch that cue ball right there! And this is it! One, two, three! That was a kick out! Rocco kicked out! Easy, you get your shoulder up, the pin stops. You were the left once. After all that, after going through those pool cues, going through those chairs, all the abuse was taken. What has he got left? What is keeping him going? 
the fact that Carnage is still breathing. Plain and simple. His goal is to kill Carnage, and Carnage is staking him through the heart with those pool cubes. Well, we got another box. Trash can. Oh! Oh, into the box. Heard that one up and hooks it. Rocco getting the hand the hard way. The chair is still in the ring. Oh, no. The fact is, this match has been pretty much 95% carnage, 5% Rocco. Oh, that's again with that shot. Those Singapore canes are, you, I don't know if you've ever been hit by one, but it leaves a welt so massive, it lasts for weeks. It, it bleeds, it pusses, it hurts, it bruises. Rocco is up, out of nowhere, firing up. Carnage again, firing out. Rocco, going crazy. And wait a minute, where's he going? Oh, he got that trash can again. And Carnage is put away. Rocco with the knee to Carnage's face. And he just need the chair. That doesn't matter. He's fired up now. He's tasting blood. He's a rabid wolverine. And the crowd chanting his name. The king of violence. Proving why he owns that crowd. He did one impactful move this whole match, and he's the king of violence. Let's see what else he can do. The match isn't over yet. Up. Rocco slam on the trash can. It's building up to it. Oh. You know, to my calculations, I believe we've only been through six, maybe seven boxes. We got a few more to go to see what devastation these two men have brought. That is actually a piece of the ring. Carnage getting choked out. You know, Carnage isn't going to tap, but he's going to pass out before that actually happens. Trick, Frankie, whatever you want to call it. That thing actually held on a few years ago. Busted Carnage wide open. You still see the scar. Oh! Rocco gets the one on pin. One, two. As no surprise, Carnage kicks out. One arm isn't going to put the Raging Demon away. No, but we still have. How many boxes, Chaz? Uh, well, about four, actually. I believe so. Maybe three. Rocco setting up the chair. I'm sorry, we keep up chairs. Oh, you are actually. You're um every time you talk I get bored for some reason. I don't know what it is. Nothing interesting to say. I highly doubt that uh, Carnage probably has Rocco extremely well scouted and vice versa. Rocco has the demon up. Can he do it? No. no. Carnage down. Big haymaker. Kick to the gut. Knees. Strikes. 6 to 12 with the knees. And wait a minute. Pokes the arm for the underhook. Wraps in my Carnage. Carnage gets out. Wait a minute. Hellseeker. Ooh. Well, 
of the fact of the matter is very simple. Carnage and Rocco are beating the living hell out of each other. Like I said before, they don't really want to win this match. They just want to kill each other. And what better way to do it here than annihilation, trick or treat 11, and so far they're both succeeding. Rocco saying he has to do this. Wait a minute. That's oh, he's looking for something. He's got something in that twisted mind of his. Rocco is looking around for something in particular. He's not going to bode well. And Rocco can't find something. He's looking. Oh, Rocco got a plastic bag. Oh, no, you are kidding me. He wanted a hat. That's why he wanted that. Kids do not try this at home. Well, when he said he wanted to kill Rocco Carnage. No, no, no. No? I'm going to put fair in this company. There's only one way to do this. Stay down. Those are handcuffs, if anyone can't tell at home. Usually found in your mother's bedroom. Oh! You don't have to handle it, just sit back and enjoy the ride. And now whatever Rocco's doing... Carnage is being handcuffed. This is uh, not something we can do here at WAW. Not something I'm not allowed to say you should do. But in chat, I think away from WAW Incorporated Entertainment, this is friggin' awesome. Carnage is being handcuffed. There's nothing he can do. I think you know what's going to happen now. I, I really don't, Rocco. And end his career. End it tonight. Oh, no. Now, Carnage. <laughs> Carnage is, uh, wait a minute. Oh, no. He's going to cut his head off. Oh, wait a minute. Carnage is standing. Well, Carnage wants it. Oh, Carnage, though, still, oh, still standing. Oh. Carnage finally down to his knees. Oh, spitting in Rocco's face. And Carnage on his way down breaks the handcuffs. I'm not even sure if he did it out of desperation or just uh, <laughs> out of instinct, but Carnage, I'm pretty sure he's out on his feet. Oh! I'm not sure Carnage is moving. Carnage is not. Well, not only did he make an impact, but he won the match. Rocco is barely standing on his own two feet. You know, I gotta say that certainly is making an impact. I did it! You did it! I killed Garden! Nobody said that! Well, you know what? Someone probably should have turned to the Raging Demon. There's your winner of Trick or Treat 11, the King of Violence, Mr. Robin Wirewacker, Rocco.